Stefan, let's talk a little bit about 2022. It was a dream year for you. Tell us uh, about uh, the start of the year. Yes, I mean, uh, for us, it was a complete new situation because we have made uh, very big changes in the team complete. We have changed the boat. We have uh, changed the complete team. So um, it was, I mean, for us, it was a complete new adventure. Uh, we were not expecting to fight for the world championship. We, were, we have known that we are fast, yes. And we have known that we have an uh, uh, awesome and uh, professional team, of course. But uh, with the new boat, uh, we had some tests, but uh, in a test you are alone. You, have, uh, you, you cannot compare to the other boats. And uh, so for us, it was, we have just started this adventure and uh, we just wanted to get uh, stronger and stronger every year. Um, but okay, I mean, we have made uh, really good uh, progress in the tests and uh, okay. And then, I mean, the season has started. First race, we have win the race. Um, that was uh, for us very nice and uh, of course a big surprise because uh, okay, for us, we, we wanted to uh, start to finish the races. We wanted um, take the points and uh, okay it was it was very positive and we were very happy and uh, so we have we have just tried to continue with the level what we had every race and uh, I mean at the end of the season it have pay off we have not win all the races but uh, our goal was to catch as much points as we can during the whole season and uh, yes, so we have made a good job for sure. The whole team, me as a driver, I mean, it only go together with, with everybody. It's not enough uh, with me as a driver. Um, the whole team must be in a, uh, in a good relationship, let's say like this. And uh, when everybody work together and uh, the wheels go together, then at the end you have the success. Because you had a, a multi uh, team in terms of nationalities. You as a German, your Italian uh, team manager Alex and uh, bye bye and now your wife from, from, uh, from Latvia. Uh, how, how was that? I mean communication and uh, so on in the race it gets uh, a bit hot and uh, I remember very well the first uh, race. Uh, you were not so happy uh, during the first free practice in, in Poland, for example. You were struggling a lot before you broke the code and, and managed to push. How difficult is it with more nationalities in one team? Is it an advantage or is it a disadvantage? Uh, for me it was an uh, advantage because uh, the people which I had there, they are super high professional people. I mean, uh, everybody who know uh, Alex uh, and and uh, the boys which I had with me, they they are all from uh, from Formula One Qatar team. So I don't have to tell them what they have to do. Um, they it's it's their business. They know what they have to touch on the boat. I have give them f the full trust. Uh, I have not care about anything on the boat uh, on the race, which have helped me a lot to concentrate on my job, what I have to do. Mm -hmm. um, because before I was also helping a bit on the boat and uh, preparing some things. And uh, I mean, the, the structure in the team was at the beginning clear. We have, uh, we have uh, decide who have the position in the team and who, have the, who make which job on the boat. And uh, everybody have to do it like this. And uh, so for me, I had free mind to concentrate on the racing mm -hmm. and I have, I had always full trust in the boys. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, I mean, they have made an amazing job also. Uh, uh, Baiba, which we have in the team, she have, she have uh, control all the, uh, um, the uh, things, the organization things with events and uh, caring about uh, our VIPs and uh, caring about, uh, okay, 
later with with her um, lawyer skills, which we needed at the end of the season. I mean, uh, without her and without everybody in the team, I don't know where we would be now at the end of the season. I was there together with you celebrating that you won the World Championship after the race in Portugal. Then all hell broke loose in the end. Tell yes. us a little bit about your emotions when, when you first of all achieve your goal. I mean, you're working so hard, you, you, you spend weeks in your camper to achieve this one. You sacrificed so many hours. You achieve your gold and it's got all taken away from you. Tell us about your side because let's talk about the elephant in the room. They stole your world championship away. Yes, I mean, uh, at the end of the season, it was not nice for us. Um, I think we had the title maybe four hours. Everybody was happy and uh, like you say, we have we have uh, sacrificed the whole year. We had no, absolutely no holidays. Our whole life was just into racing uh, because we we were we have known that we have the chance to get the world champion. So all my uh, my power and the power of my wife. I mean, she she was also standing behind me, which have helped me a lot because if. If I would not have the, the people in my background which calm me down and which, uh, which help me to, to, to arrange uh, all and uh, to, um, to get to the, to the point where we are now, it's, uh, there are so much things which, which maybe nobody see, which you have to, you have to step back about uh, a lot of things. And um, and then when they have take away the title, I mean, it was like uh, the world broke down for everybody in the team mm -hmm. because uh, everybody have have put the uh, maximum power and effort in in this goal what we had. At the end, we have we have reached it, and we have reached it. Not that somebody can say that we have cheat because. Uh, we have we have just make our job the whole year and we have make it good and we have just uh, collect the points mm -hmm. and uh, then at the end take i mean it was not only me uh, the first three boats was taken out of the of the final race about uh, engine problems um that was something which was not understandable for us and at the end also not acceptable Mm -hmm. So about this, we needed to really fight hard that I get back my title. Um, we have get back the title now, yes. But uh, at the end, we couldn't celebrate it like we should. Because it's not only that we got the title back. It's also the fact that a lot of sponsorship opportunities was taken away from us. Mm -hmm. Because the time which it took until we got the title back. Um, the, the companies which was interested to make uh, um, agreement with us, they have closed uh, the budget long time ago. Mm -hmm. So uh, also this was a big disaster for us because now uh, we couldn't get some new sponsorship deal. So um, I'm happy that, that uh, the, my partners which I have were still uh, being with me and they had full trust in me that we have not cheated anything mm -hmm. uh, on my engine because uh, they we worked together with, with my partner since 10 years mm -hmm. and they had full trust in me that uh, all what we do is legal. I mean, we have it also on the boat mm -hmm. that we have a fair race, fair play. Mm -hmm. So uh, about this, all of my partners was sure that we have win about our knowledge and our, about our effort, what, what we have put in the sport. And uh, about this, I'm very happy that, that uh, I could keep my, my partners, that they not run away because they thought that maybe I am a cheater. Mm -hmm. So uh, about this, I'm really very happy to have uh, such good partners on my side, which have the trust in me since so many years. But what you're explaining is that 
the benefit of becoming the world champion was basically what you lost because uh, the new sponsorship uh, opportunities and, and possibilities who lies in the value of a world championship title with the new companies that has not succeeded so so you lost that opportunity so that that is the price you paid for the month of uh, waiting for the title yes that's exactly right that's that's fact yes what's your future plan now for uh, for uh, 23 uh, at the moment we still stay in racing yes um, but at the moment we don't know in which direction we go there are some discussions with some partners and uh, and then we will decide in in which direction we go Stefan thank you very much i hope you stay in norway yes <laughs> we we see yes <laughs> thank you very much thank you